I was asked to do the show in October. At the time, I'd been processing a lot of ideas and feelings and impulses from the last year of my life. And in that time, I had a baby and there were just a lot of fertility references bubbling up into the surface. Also, I, I realized that there were already existing a lot of those references in the work and some things became more pronounced and other things really floated up to the surface. So it wasn't direct in a sense that I was like, oh, I'm having a baby, I'll choose a symbol and use that to deliver my message of fertility. I feel like the show does well in that it represents the symbols not in a bubbling gleeful sense that I feel like a lot of fertility references are carried into the culture with. My experience in that year and in making the work through that lens is very much darker and harder. The wall pieces are collages that have been re-photographed and printed onto aluminum for a couple of different reasons. I wanted in this show very specifically to break out of the rectangle. I mean, I've been wanting to do that for so long in my work and, and I wish it could just be like, oh, I don't like a rectangle, let me do a circle and boom, you do it. But it's, never really been like that for me. This printing and up method helped me be able to make shapes out of the canvases that further like conveyed the essence of the collage. And that's why you see a butterfly shape, an egg shape, a circle, and the archway. They're all composed of collages, that I've made in the last year. The egg one in particular has some text, mostly completely incoherent, nothing that legible or poetic if you were to read it at all or, or even like straightforward. I don't really keep a journal, but I felt like I needed to sort of get some thoughts out of my head and out of my body. So as a kid, I spent a lot of time in the desert and that, that time was punctuated with time at the beach because I grew up kind of in the center in Riverside. So there was not much to do there then and we would always go either east or west. And I just feel like I have both of those elements inside of me. And aluminum made things like pontoons and like little boats and anchors, there's just like, a, for some aluminum cans and there was just like a lot of like drinking soda and drinking beer and you know, this, somehow aluminum is, you know, it's a very common metal and there's something about the way that it, you know, resists rust and is lightweight and is buoyant and is good for the sea element and the desert element that made its way into these works. Mm -hmm. 